Peugeot states that it is currently on track to deliver its targets for electrification. We've been invited to their e-line event, where they're showcasing the multitude of electrified models in their range. By the end of 2023, every model in the Peugeot lineup will be available as an electric model. By 2025, the plan is that every Peugeot will have a 100% EV offering, and 100% of their cars sold in Europe will be electric. Peugeot have brought us to the south of Spain in this immense heat to test drive the all new electric range and electrified cars. Behind us you'll see a range of 2008s, there's also 508, 508 SW, 5008 and 3008 line. When the E-Line project was put in place, it was Peugeot's response to a dramatic shift in the automotive industry. In order to swiftly change direction, they set out how they would need to design, construct and deliver a whole new range of cars that met with strict EU guidelines. Peugeot needed to look at their ecosystem of products and services. They had to make sure the end-to-end -end customer experience, from charging to connectivity, would be in place and all of it based on a 100% battery electric lineup. Peugeot have set a huge commitment in developing a 100% BEV lineup by 2025. Targets include maximising efficiency, minimising kilowatt consumption, and all of this has to lead to a carbon net zero target by 2038. Peugeot will release five new EVs in the next two years, with the E308, E308 SW, which is a first for European electric states, the E408, E3008 and the E5008. The electric 308 and 308 SW will be powered by a brand new electric engine, developing 115 kilowatts, which is 156 brake horsepower, and with a range of over 400 kilometers using the WLTP cycle. It aims for an average energy consumption of around 12.7 kilowatt hours. Peugeot's new hybrid technology comes in the guise of the MHEV 48 volt system, which will be available in the 208, 2008, 308, 3008, 5008 and 408. The hybrid 48 volt system comes in the form of a new generation 100 horsepower or 136 horsepower pure tech petrol engine. The battery recharges while driving and it has an increased low end torque with around a 15% reduction in fuel consumption. In urban driving, a C-segment SUV equipped with the hybrid system can operate around half of the time in electric mode. The E3008 and E5008 will be the first cars launched with the new state-of-the-art STLA medium platform. First up this year is the E3008, which will have a range of around 700 kilometers, with three electric powertrains, including a dual motor. Steerball wire will allow new ways to control the vehicle, and it will have the next generation of intelligent eye cockpit. Peugeot's new BEV by design lineup will have a totally new design language, with focus on the interior space and function. Steerball wire technology, smart cockpit, and autonomous driving are all new technologies developed for future Peugeot products. Over these next two generations, there will be changes to the materials used with lightweight seats. We've got air quilted and molded fabrics. You'll have recycled alloys with raw material finishes, no alloy, no chrome, the use of recycled materials, and end of life recycling. The carbon net zero plan extends beyond 100% electrification, and this is to consider the materials used in product design and manufacture. There's also the retrofit programs to convert vehicles to BV design to extend the life of the car. We met with the CEO of Peugeot, Linda Jackson. We asked her a few questions just so we could get to know her a little better. To be honest with you, right now is the most exciting. No, it seriously is, I'm not just saying that. It's the most exciting time I've ever had. And why I say that is because I've got a great brand, it's got a great product, it's got great opportunity. And we are in a world of the automotive industry which you know, hasn't moved for 40 years and is now gonna move so quickly in the next five. And it moves from being, you know, a car moves from being a mechanical thing to almost a software object. And you say to yourself, wow, this is absolutely exciting. We were in Las Vegas at the beginning of the year at what we call the CES show, which is a tech show, probably the biggest in the world. 
input, most important in the world, and we're presenting the future of Persia with an, a concept called Inception, which shows the direction where we want to go, whether it be in design or whether it be going connectivity or whether it go all the technology. And that was that was really something that you know I had developed with the team, and that I think is something that is that we're now introducing, and therefore that's something that is really important as we move forward. The vehicles that we're launching right now, you see there's a very strong design, uh, and very, very strong on the, for example, the lighting signatures with the three claws, very, very, very immediately recognisable as, as Peugeot. So we want to continue that. That pleasure of driving is really all about, for Peugeot, is the inside and what we call the eye cockpit which is all around this small steering wheel, very easy to, to see over the steering wheel. And it gives you a real sense of being able to, to drive very reactively, but also it's a pleasure. We looked at what can you do with the space inside? Because what people don't necessarily realise is that when you move to full electric cars, you move to something that what we say is a flat bed, doesn't have a tunnel in the, in the centre. So it creates, if you like, a blank canvas for designers. So what, was, what could we do with that? And that's where we start to evolve the eye cockpit, which brings in, instead of a steering wheel, you've got a steering control centre, which we call the hypersquare. So if you imagine gaming, uh, which when you link that with a technology called steer by wire, which is like the electronic link instead of a mechanical link, um, then you create a very reactive and really great fun in terms of driving the car. And so where we want to take it now is having that sort of technology on the cars and that, that for example, will be available on a Peugeot from 2026, 2027. What challenges did I see ahead of us? Well, I, I, you know, I think the first thing was that you're absolutely right, I came into a brand that was very healthy, yeah, very strong in Europe, um, but that gave me an opportunity because what we want to be is also a very strong global brand. So what we're doing now is taking the opportunity of taking that, as you quite rightly say, that great product range, um, the move at market, um, the brand value that we've got, the way we talk about Persia, and we're taking that abroad. So we're taking that and making sure that we're strong, particularly in South America, Brazil, Argentina, Middle East Africa, for example, um, Turkey, very strong. Uh, we're, we're now starting sales in South Africa, for example, and then India, Asia Pacific, where we're already present in Japan and Australia and all of those sort of places, but also we're trying to build up our presence in, for example, Vietnam, Malaysia, etc. So if you like, the opportunity for me was to take it, become much more global, so that we could have a much bigger uh, stretch and portfolio in terms of markets. So that's really the sort of major thing for me. You're right, I've been 40 years in this industry and I've never wanted to leave it because I love it. Um, so the reason I, I love the automotive industry is because you know, when we buy a car, we buy it with emotion. 99% of us do, don't we? And it's a sexy thing that we want to buy because we want to say something about ourselves. So it's difficult to think of something. I would, it would have to be something that uh, could give me that same, that same feeling. Mm. So um, I don't know what I would like to go into. I thought it's an impossible question, having spent all my career in the automotive business. But it's going to be something where you buy it with emotion. So it's good to know that the CEO of Peugeot obviously has an interest in cars and wants to ensure they're still fun to drive going into the future. There may be a lot more technology between the driver and the road than ever before. From what we've seen, it's important that the driver remains a foremost piece of the puzzle for Peugeot when creating their cars, for now. They have much more opportunity than before to redesign the interior space and the entire experience for passengers. They're invested in the evolution of the brand with exciting concepts such as the E-Legend and 9X8 hypercar. It would be nice to know that there were a 206 GTI waiting in the wings and for now Sport Engineered is the most athletic offering to the public. While we carefully watch the development of their hybrid technologies in endurance racing and wait for it to trickle down the consumer lineup.